Taiwanese and American investigators are struggling to determine what triggered the massive explosion aboard Uni Air Flight 873. They turn to the black boxes for clues. Holland Tower, good afternoon. And as investigators listen, they soon discover it's uneventful. Except for a somewhat bumpy landing. After touchdown, the captain engages the thrust reversers and hits the brakes. It came right out of the blue. There was absolutely no hint of trouble before the explosion. The sound itself could be the biggest clue on the audio tape. It wasn't the very rapid high frequency spike of a bomb. Send it in for analysis, please. The sound of the explosion on board Flight 873 is compared to sounds of various types of explosions. We determined it was a gaseous explosion. But the flight data recorder shows no irregularities with the fuel systems on Uni Air Flight 873. Whatever it was exploded here. Investigators now focus on the overhead bin above seat 8B. They wonder if someone brought explosive materials on board. Investigator Tony James decides to examine the burnt out plane for clues that may have been missed. James focuses on the area around the overhead bin at row eight. On the far side, underneath seat 7C, he spots something unusual. I found something. It's not the look of the fragment that grabs his attention, but the smell. It smells like gasoline. The bottle fragment was found in row seven, just one row forward of the exploded bin. Could this be the source of the gas explosion? Investigators order up a chemical analysis of the bottle fragment. The fragment is soon identified as coming from a bottle of a common brand of laundry bleach. But lab results show that it wasn't bleach in the bottle. No question about it, it's gasoline. It's a remarkable discovery. An innocent looking 750 milliliter bottle is now the prime suspect in the accident investigation. Investigators believe someone swapped the bleach for gasoline. The gasoline could have leaked out during the flight. Maybe. The team gets their first big break, but it raises new questions. Why would anyone bring gasoline onto an airplane? 